What's up, everyone? This is El Destroyer, Doodoo 9, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Last time, we discovered where the people of Fanic have been concealed, kidnapped, taken to, whatever. They are locked inside the pre-gym, however, we need an elevator key in order to free them. Which unfortunately, beating the person who was the true Justy impersonator, he did not have the key. So in this episode, we are going to head to the only place where we have not yet explored, the Fanic Stadium. Hopefully someone here has the elevator key, and then we can go and free everyone. Okay, well, it seems pretty empty. And since there's no one at the reception, we can just waltz right in. Simple as that. Hello there. Oh, hi, little boy. Didn't anyone tell you to stay out? Okay, well, we enter the stadium and are immediately challenged to a battle. That's Cypher for you. Okay, so Essen is going to send out a Pelipper and an Electrike. Okay, we've dealt with these types of Pokemon before. Kinda wish I had Klaus out, but whatever, I can deal with it. Duskull, go ahead and use... Uh, go ahead and start with Shadow Wave. Darbus, use Rock Tomb on Pelipper. That should t deal a decent amount of damage. Even though it's not the same type of attack bonus, whatever. That's fairly decent. How that's kind of bad? Sort of? I would rather. Oh, thank goodness that missed. I'm not entirely sure how well Electrike's physical attack would even compare. Okay, Duskull, you are not going to get the job done. Um. I'm gonna switch to Koromaru. Just be actually. Mm. Nah, Duskull, I'll switch you out for Klaus. Darbus, let's have you. Yeah, you go ahead and take care of that Pelipper. Just to be on the safe side. The last thing I need is that Pelipper. One, to confuse Darbus. Damn it. Two, to use something like Wing Attack and pretty much take it down. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, great. Who did he target? He, of course, he targeted Darbus. Fantastic. Okay, Darbus. Well, first, Klaus. Go ahead and use Thundershock on Pelipper, even if it hits Electrike. Oh, well. Darbus. Um, use Arm Thrust. No, no, no. Um, I'm gonna switch you out. Let's switch you out for... I can bring Duskull back out. You know what, sure, let's bring Duskull back out. Why the heck not? Okay, so hopefully that Electric doesn't have Lightning Rod and I can, oh, it used Quick Attack. Okay. I was actually kind of hoping he targeted Darvis because that would have been amazing. Yeah, it has Lightning Rod. I mean, that would have been amazing. Quick Attack, nope, it's a Duskull. Oh, that would have been amazing. Oh well, whatever. Water, really? Water gun? On Klaus. Okay. Sure, why not? Klaus. Go ahead and use Bite on Pelipper. Duskull. Uh, use Astonish. You're a lot slower than Electric, but whatever. You can deal some da chip damage. At the very least, I take care of that Pelipper and prevent any other sort of confusion from happening. So I got that going for me. All right, and our next Pokemon, Spearow. Okay. There's an odd Kanto Pokemon. Chances are good, it's a Shadow Pokemon. Spearow is probably one of the better flying types that you're going to get in this game. It has some pretty good speed and attack as well. So it actually has a lot going for it in terms of offensive and really just sweeper capabilities. It also carries the sharp beak item. So if you need to boost up your flying type moves, 
it comes with that naturally. So, if you really need a good flying type, you really can't get too much better than Spiro in this game. Okay, Duskull, you're getting out of there. Because I still want you to gain some experience in these battles. Okay. Oh, shoot! Ah! I thought Lightning Rod... I, for one, I completely forgot Electric had Lightning Rod. Two, I thought that would only work with actual attacking electric type moves. Oh, wow. That was interesting. Okay, Klaus, go ahead and use... Uh, use Sand Attack on Spiro. Darbus, use Brick Break on Electric. Ah! I cannot catch a break in this battle! Electric stealing my Thunder Wave, Spiro having Keen Eye, which makes sense because it's a flying type and most, well, a good amount of just generic bird Pokemon have that. Okay, Shadow Panic. I'm more than certain that causes confusion. It does. Okay, well, Darbus, you're going to be switched out. Klaus, go ahead and use Thunder Wave. Darbus, I'm switching you out for Ralts. Ralts won't deal too much damage if she hurts herself in her confusion, and she can deal some pretty good chip damage, so that would work either way. Alright, so Spiro's now paralyzed. Ah! It's a little bit too soon to start chucking Pokeballs at it. Holy jeez. Well, that's proof of Spiro's offensive power. Uh, Klaus, why don't I switch you out for Dust Skull so that way I can snap, snap her out of, uh, reverse mode. Ralt, go ahead and use Confusion. I seriously need to heal her, and I can't do that if she's in reverse mode. Well, at least Ralt is f Wow, that's actually surprising. Ralt is faster than Spiro. Okay, sure, why not? Shadow Blitz, okay, on Duskull. Alrighty then. Uh, what do I want to do? Both of my Pokemon are in reverse mode. Um, should I start checking a Pokeball or should I snap them? I should probably snap them both out of reverse mode. Just to be on the safe side. Okay. So I snap you out of it, Duskull. Then I snap Ralts out of it. One of you is going to use some secondary attack, and the other one I'm just going to throw a Great Ball. Or maybe I should try a regular Pokeball. I do have one of those left. Heck, I could also try the Premier Ball. Duskull! Uh, actually, your turn. I'm going to chuck a Pokeball. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and use up this last Pokeball. We should be able to catch it, no problem. Roll, let's go ahead and use Reflect, just in case. Alrighty then. Let's see if we can catch the Spiro. We should, considering Spiro's not really that difficult of a Pokemon to catch. One, two, three. Yes! Aha! Spiro, you are mine. Have that very impromptu battle, we've defeated Essen. I got beaten by some little kid. Yeah, and you lost your shadow Pokemon to me. Uh-huh. Oh, great. Another one immediately afterward. Stay out of this, kid. It's for your own good. Fantastic. Yet another battle against Faultly. Hmm. I feel like a very obvious pun is in that name. I will not take it, though. Partially because I can't really think of a good way of doing it without it being falling flat on his face. Anyway! He's gonna start it off with a Chimeco and a Stantler. Not great Intimidate. Uh, Duskull, since you actually can do something, go ahead and use Astonish on Chimeco. Darbus, use Brick Break on Stantler. Oh wow, Stantler's actually faster. I may want to switch out Duskull. Assuming that, well, I don't think that Chimeco would be able to take care of Duskull. Oh, wow, even with Intimidate, Darvis can just plow right through that Stantler. All right, good job. Next Pokemon, Grimer. Despite not really being inconspicuous, it is a Shadow Pokemon. 
Grimer is kind of an odd poison type, to be honest. Its main stats follow with hit points, attack, and special defense. Which is a very odd combination, especially for being a poison type. I really can't say too much good, again, because of my bias towards poison types, as mentioned previously. So I can't really say I really recommend Grimer. But if you need an offensive-based poison type, I guess you could go with it. Or at least a good special defensive wall. Okay, uproar! Ugh. Oh. Okay, well that really didn't do that much damage. Grimer's using Shadow Blitz. Okay. Yeah. Um Klaus, go ahead and use Bite on Chimeco. Darvis, what do I want to do with you? Should I switch your Ah Go ahead and use Rock Tomb. I don't think that would deal that much damage to Grimer. So hopefully, oh really? Come on, Klaus. That shouldn't really deal that much damage, I think. Okay, even with the crit, that just brought it down in the yellow. Actually, I might be good for chucking Pokeball. Wow, this battle is going a lot better than the previous one. Klaus, go ahead and use Bite. Jarvis, let's go ahead and throw a Great Ball. We, we obviously can't aim it at Chimeco. Blah, I'm stumbling over my words. But, hey, maybe we might actually be able to catch this Pokemon before we faint all the others. One, two, three. Ha-ha! Wow, this battle is going very, very well. And we won. Well, I'd say that was a, a perfect success. That, re that battle really could not have gone that much better. I mean, Klaus could have taken care of Chimeco in one attack, but hey! That was still pretty darn good, Klaus. And you too, Darbus. Okay, it's me that gets lost. Which makes sense because you immediately flee afterwards. Alright, so, we took care of those two chumps. Except, Duskull's fainted, so... Um... To, in order to prepare ourselves for what's ahead, I'm gonna go back and heal real quick, so I'll meet you guys in a bit. Alright, so now that my Pokemon are healed up and ready to go, yes, you can actually just walk off the side here, even though there's no obvious ledge back to the uh, receptionist, but eh, video game logic. Whatever. We can head on over to the center, and look who it is. Some familiar faces and some not-so-familiar faces. Forget it! You can't have our videotapes! You can't do this to the press! For a prisoner, you're rather hard-nosed, I must say. But it just wouldn't do to have those tapes broadcast to the public. I've been promised the position of Orr's governor by none other than Master Greeble. So you must understand. It wouldn't do to have it known that I have muzzled the citizens of Fennec. If that got out, Imagine what harm it would bring to my pristine political record. Now, hand over the videotapes, please. I don't care about your sick aspirations. Don't you dare underestimate the power of the free press. ONBS stakes its very existence on delivering the truth for justice. I will get this news out. It's so sad that you won't listen to reason. Very well. I suppose you leave me with no option. Hello! Oh! You! Are you the dastardly child who won't stop fooling in our affairs? That's me! Hi, I'm Michael. Nice to meet you. Eggrog! What are you doing? Get rid of this pest! Sir, yes sir, Mr. Snattle, sir! Aye aye, sir! Hey, you have the same uniform as Naps. Hey, boy. Playtime is over. Star Fox. Okay, so we get to face off against Eggrog. Did your parents maybe have a little bit too much to drink around Christmas when they named you? Oh, well, whatever. Eggrog is going to start off with a Hoot Hoot and a Graveler. 
Good thing I switched the cloud. Well, sort of good thing I switched the clouds. That graveler has me a little worried. Uh, Duskull. I'm going to switch you out. Um, yeah, I'll switch you out to Darvis. Darvis can do a good job with that. Klaus, go ahead and use Thundershock on Hoot Hoot. That should not be too much of a priority. Well, that shouldn't be too much to take care of. I am worried about that Graveler, though, but I do have a few revives in case somehow that Graveler gets insanely lucky and faints Klaus. Oh, whatever. Hoot Hoot's down. Pokemon gain experience. Next Pokemon. Gulping. Okay, now I kind of need- oh, Mud Sport? Really? Now I kind of wish I had- I had rolled out. Darbus! Uh, go ahead and use Brick Break on Graveler. Klaus, use Thundershock on Gulpin. Gulpin, I think, has some decent special defense. I don't probably survive the- holy crap does it have special defense! Okay, I expected Thundershock to do a lot more damage than that. Oh, what? Come on, Darbus. You're better than that. I know you're better than that. Uh-oh. Brick break on clown. Oh, that still didn't deal all that much damage. Okay. Darbus, go ahead, use... Ah. Jarvis, you're not really going to be that helpful against Gulpin, so... Go ahead and use Arm Thrust on Graveler. Klaus, use Bite on Gulpin. I'm not sure about Gulpin's regular defense, so we sh might be able... Holy crap, yeah, we, able we were able to deal a lot more damage with that. Okay, Jarvis, use Arm Thrust, and down goes Graveler. Alright, so, with that taken care of, we can get to Eggrog's final Shadow Pokemon. No level ups, unfortunately. But his final Pokemon, Seal. And Seal is his Shadow Pokemon. Seal is kind of similar to what we've gotten previously with Spiel. Funny enough. It is a your typical water Pokemon. It is very bulky, has pretty good hit points, defense, and special defense. So it is pretty good for what it is designed for. Um, it does fall into a similar category with some other Pokemon combinations in that Seal evolves faster than other Pokemon, like say, um, Celio. But overall, it's Celio's final evolution trumps what Seal is capable of. So if you Depending on how much you want to train with the, your Pokemon, or how much power you need at a certain point, will determine whether or not you choose Seal over Spiel. Alright, well Klaus and Darbus gained a level up. Fantastic. Okay, Shadow Mist. Okay, um... Well, that just lowers my evasiveness, so that really isn't too terribly bad. All I gotta do is send Klaus out to just paralyze it, and Ralts can probably do the rest. Ralts, go ahead and use Confusion. Klaus, use Thunder Wave. Alright, so we should... So that now Seal is paralyzed. Hopefully, Ralts will be able to deal a good amount of damage. Maybe, possibly. Please, Ralts. Okay, well, honestly, that really didn't deal that much damage to Klaus. And, ugh. That did a bit less than I was hoping. And Ralts went into reverse mode. Fantastic. Okay, I need a better way of doing dealing with this. Um, Klaus, you're too high leveled. Ralts, stick with confusion. Klaus, I'm going to switch you out. Uh, Snow Runt? What would Snow Runt do? Snow Runt could probably deal a decent chunk of damage. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so Klaus, I'm switching you out for Snow Runt. That should actually lower Snow Runt's. Yeah, okay, so Snow Runt should actually get its final move, too. Okay, just a little bit more in terms of chip damage. Ooh, and Confusion. 
now I'm a bit worried about snow runt. Um, well, what's its final move? Isn't it icy wind? Or does it get that when it? Yeah, it is icy wind. Okay. Um, well, seals. Well, seals a water type. It doesn't gain ice until it evolves. Um. Snow Runt, just go ahead and use Bite. Please don't faint at Snow Runt. Really, please don't faint Seal. I don't think you will be able to do it. Oh, jeez. Yeah, what was I worried about? That barely did anything. And now you've gone to reverse mode. Fantastic. Well, at the very least, it benefits Snow Runt. It at least benefits it because Snow Runt still isn't ready to be purified yet. Okay, so Ralt, go ahead and use Confusion, Snow Runt, snap out of it. Yeah, that got rid of quite a bit of the heart gauge. Okay, so Ralt, hopefully this will bring Seal down to the yellow. Perfect! Ah, great, snapped out of Confusion. Still just lowering my evasiveness. Well, what do I mean still? It used Shadow Blitz on... Oh no, it used Shadow Wave. Never mind. Well, still, it attacked me. That was the point. Alright. So, lowers my things. Ralts, go ahead and use Confusion. Snow Runt? Let's try Premier Ball. Why not? Let's go ahead and give the Premier Ball a try. I have confidence in it. Premier Ball, go! One, two, three. Yes! Haha! -ha! We caught it as a seal! And we beat Eggrog! Hooray! Aw, no! That... That seemed like a very... Passive way of dealing with that loss. That was stunning! That footage should be electrifying! Cameron, did you get that on cape? Tape that! Sorry, but you can't expect me to keep filming under these conditions. Oh, this is precisely the time your camera should be rolling. Show some journalistic guts. Cut, cut. If Master Greville were to see this, he would be most displeased. I have no mercy for anyone in my way. Even for a child like you. You will answer to me now. <laughs> 